All right, we're going to cover another submission from the guard. Um, it's going to be closed guard. This is the gift wrap choke, okay? So the gift wrap is when I get a person's arm across their body and I reach around their head and I grab their wrist around their head. This is when someone is gift wrapped and ready to go. So when you have someone's arm here, they're so vulnerable to everything, to sweeps. I can, it's super easy to pendulum sweep here and take them this way because his wall is weights down and he doesn't have any way to base out over there, okay? Now I can attack triangles as well on this wrist. I just lift the wrist, bring the leg through and shoot triangles. Now there's another choke here. Now, when I have his arm around his neck, he's going to be trying to get that arm back, trying to extend. And when he does that, it opens up a space here for my hand to come in, shoot it in here. All right. And I'm going to put it on this side of his neck. So now his wrist is going to be choking on this side here. And I'm pulling, I'm using my left hand to pull that in tight. And then this hand is going to shoot here and I make a fist. Okay. Now I don't want to put the back of my hand. I don't want to put it to like a chop. I want to make a fist. And then when I break the fist here, I'm going to use the ledge of his deltoid to put my hand on. Okay, so my hand is going to be propped on his deltoid, and I'm going to be pulling his neck down into the into it with his own arm. All right. So once we have the gift wrap, let's talk about how to get the gift wrap real fast. Easiest way to get the gift gift wrap is to go cross grip. Once I have a cross grip, I need to start pulling his elbow across my body here. Okay. He's going to be resisting. Obviously, it's not going to be that easy. So when he starts to resist. We can come through to like an arm drag type position and scoot my hips out and then pinch my body into him to trap his elbow there. And then from here, then once I have my body trapped against his elbow so he can't pull that back, then I can use my hand to pass it up to his arm, pass it up to my hand. Okay? Now we have him gift wrapped. Now, what we don't want him to do is be able to duck his head out from under. Okay, so to stop that, we can kind of underhook this arm and keep his body tight up to us. So now if he tries to duck his head out from under, I have him tight and I've got good control here. Now, this hand is not going to sneak in the space between his arm and his neck here. Okay, even if his head's down, I just force my hand through. Then from here, I prop my thumb on his deltoid, right? And I use my pinky and my, the flat of my hand here to go on this side of his neck. And then from here, I'm going to extend everything. Both my hands are going to extend straight out, okay? Just like I'm doing an Ezekiel choke. I was going to do an Ezekiel choke in the gi. This, if I grab it inside my sleeve, here. Okay, so the same concept applies. I'm going to lift and extend. Okay, and then if I'm having trouble choking him, I turn my palm down, okay? I can go here, this is going to be painful, but if he's tucking it out, I turn my palm inwards okay by turning my palm inwards it spreads out the pressure so it's not just focused in one spot i turn it and so now i'm cupping off this whole side of his neck okay and the, the, the artery is here and here they're kind of at a 45 degree angle from his spine that's where you know the arteries are there on the sides it's more just muscle if you put too much pressure on the sides it's just painful on the muscle it, is, it usually won't choke them so we want to try and focus on the 45 degree angle here Extend, if he's toughing it out because it's on the muscle, I turn my hand out and open it. Okay, and that's the gift wrap choke.